hello babes and welcome to a new video finally a makeup video i have not done a makeup video for so so long but lately perhaps because of the being able to meet people again um kind of i've been so much more inspired to do my makeup and to create stuff so i'm so excited that i have only new products here in front of me complete first impression video 100 percent i think at least i should say though before we start i actually got some extra product when i bought all these up so i'm thinking in the end of this video i will have a little giveaway so be sure to stick around for the end this is the new moolak lights on face and body liquid illuminator i'm just gonna put a little bit like that now let's blend this i have the nabla skin realist in 01 fair and then i have the rcma foundation in g 130 and i asked you guys on instagram and you guys wanted to see the nabla one and that's the one that i want to try out as well so the makeup brushes that i'm gonna go in with today is from flair and it's their new collection whatever it was called and i actually have a double of all of these brushes that you guys will receive in the giveaway so this is how it looks on the bottle it actually says that it has hyaluronic acid and micro spheres that should plump looking skin and lifting effect from the very first application so this is like a, a mix between skincare and foundation i'm just gonna put it right on my face it looks like a perfect match actually it's like a yellow um undertone i actually really like the coverage like i'm a sucker for light coverage now because i just feel like it gives me such a nice glow okay let's go in like that that looks so so pretty i think ah i'm so happy this is anastasia beverly hills new concealer magic touch concealer in shade two i don't think that anastasia beverly hills has ever had a concealer in a liquid form right only like in a jar all right so this is how it looks i love that you can see the color right there and then it has like a quite big one so uh, let's just put it on and i am probably going to compare it to the tarte shape tape because that is the one that i always use so just have that in mind no smell really which is good that blended out really really nicely i like i like i like i really like the coverage i like how it blended out and it looks really moisturized i am though going to go in with just a tiny bit more i'm just gonna let that sit there for a little while and then i will blend it out in just a minute or two i am gonna go in with the cream bronzer from anastasia beverly hills in amber and uh I'm so excited about it! Ah. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Feels better. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie! I am using way too much. The bronzer in itself is very soft, so when I pick some up, I get so much on my brush. I'm just not used to that with my other cream bronzer, so it's nothing bad, but I just am not used to it. Okay, that is much better. Now for some more Anastasia Beverly Hills products. This is the Stick Blush in Peachy Keen, and this is the Stick Highlighter in Pink Diamond. So this is the shade Peachy Keen, the blush. I am just gonna go in straight in with that. It looks like a quite dewy blush. Really, really, really pretty here as well. And a little bit there. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. And just like everything else that I've used today, it just gives such a nice glow. I just realized that both of these have a little uh, brush in here. I don't know what I think about that. Like. 
feel like it's kind of unnecessary. I'm never gonna use that. I would much rather have they put the money into more product than this little thing. And it's so stiff, you know, no. But here we have pink diamond. And I guess that it is a pink sheen and I don't know what I picked that because I don't like pink highlighters. I'm just gonna go in with my finger like this and I'm gonna pat it on. Let's try and just paint it on like this actually. <laughs> Can you guys see that? And I'm just gonna blend it out. Yeah, that looks so pretty. I'm just gonna put a little bit here on all of the highest points on my face. I'm gonna fix the creasing and then I'm gonna go in with the RCMA Premier Loose Powder. I know that RCMA is like known for its powder, but I have never ever ever used it. As usual, I am only going to go in right underneath my eyes. I put quite a lot underneath my bangs because I don't want to get oily and my bangs is gonna look gross after a day. And then I usually go a little bit here underneath. I just realized I haven't gone in with the uh, freckle product. This is the Kimchi Cosmetics Freckle Pen in 01. I have never gone in with a freckle thing like this, but I think that I'm just gonna go in with dots and then dot it out with my finger. Mm. I don't think that I really mastered this product. I don't think that it looks as good as it usually do when I go in with my normal technique. I mean, it looks cute. <laughs> now for a brows. I have the new Moola brow tints and the pens. And then I also have the brow glue from NYX Professional Makeup. And I'm gonna start with this one because it's the one that I have been most excited about. It's like a brow freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I have completely used up. I absolutely love that product. If I can get it for a much cheaper price, that I'm very happy. And this is obviously no... Oh, wait, there's a hair here. I was thinking it would just be a clear brow gel. I can really feel that it, it's like it glues down to my skin almost. Like I'm very, very impressed. So for the other product, this is the brow tint and these do look a bit, maybe not for me, but I'm still gonna try it. I think I'm gonna go in with the darker one, the Universal Deep Brown. It has a very, very weird brush. I saw on their Instagram that you should literally just paint it on. I've started to do my brows quite differently. As you guys can probably see, I don't have any tail anymore. I'm actually really impressed with this product <laughs> and I didn't think that I would be. And now for the eyebrow pens. This is Wannabe Blonde and Universal Deep Brown. So I'm gonna go in with the Universal Deep Brown. Moolak is such a great brand. I don't know how people have not heard about it more. Like can you tell those tiny, tiny hair strokes? I've never ever been able to do these fine strokes. Like with this, if this works now perfectly, I'm gonna be shocked. Shit, okay. I love it. And now for the product that is not completely new, but it is new in the US. I am obviously talking about my own eyeshadow palette, War Paint, that is now available in the US. I, as you guys know, launched this palette back in January for all European Union countries. But now finally the, what was it, 14, 15 maybe? We launched in the US in the States. So all of you guys that live in the States are now available to get this. We actually have a free shipping code right now that is Evelina FS. It is looking really, really gross right now. But as you guys can see, this is how much I love it. Before I go in with any of the shades, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Either go in with a concealer and pat it on your eyelids and then go in with the War Paint eyeshadow palette or a eyeshadow 
primer because all of these shades they have so much neon in them so they are quite dry to the touch but when you put them on a sticky surface or apply them with a sticky wet brush <laughs> you get the most amazing pigment and some might think that that is like a error or like a bad eyeshadow but that is how we made them this neon like the green one for example we worked on for so so long you cannot find a better green than this just pat it on with a brush on a sticky surface and you will be amazed i am going to blend this all out now i'm gonna go in with fave and we're gonna pack this on this shade fave is actually one of the most pigmented shades so i don't need to pat it on like i do now but it really does give the maximum coverage and pigment and underneath here and then i just blend the excess that i have on my brush out to the sides and there we have it i mean how pretty is that color i know i made it so <laughs> and also i'm sure that i don't have to say this but this palette is of course cruelty free and 100 percent vegan i'm gonna first go in with statement and just put this a little bit further out like that and then i'm using not your babe here in the inner 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 corner if that makes sense pretty right <laughs> i i just love this palette like it is my dream palette now i'm gonna go in with some lashes these are the marcel lashes from the pen not new ones but the new ones that i'm gonna use look really ratchet right now because i have used it already but they are new to the world these are the bottom lashes from anastasia Beverly hills yes i said bottom lashes they actually have lashes that are made for the bottle i actually have a matte liquid lipstick and i have a lip gloss and i would probably go for the lip gloss i'm such a lip gloss freak right now um i pretty much only go in with a lip liner and then a gloss on top every single time i do my makeup but i really wanted to try this out because it is such a beautiful autumny shade and this is also something that you guys will receive if you win the giveaway and i've never tried the matte bombs from revolution this is called deep wine so it's like a really really dark purple shade i don't really think that i like the applicator it's very stiff it doesn't really move with your lips if that makes sense oopsie while the lipstick was drying i actually did my hair so it is looking much better now the lipstick i don't love i'm not really into the liquid lipsticks that much anymore as you guys can see here it is very sticky still. I mean, I will for sure use it again, but it's not something that I would go for right now. So I'm actually gonna remove this and then we will go in with a lip liner and this lip gloss. The lip liner is Buxom's new Power Lime Plumping Lip Liner. And the lip gloss is from Revolution, as I said, and it's called Luster. Okay, I can't find it now, but it looks very similar to a Fenty lip gloss that I have and Fenty's lip glosses are my ultimate ultimate favorite yeah let's try it on this lip gloss you guys so so pretty I absolutely love it it's a great great dupe for the uh, Fenty gloss to be honest now just before I end I'm actually gonna go in with my favorite liquid liner or NYX professional makeup epic ink liner and I'm just gonna do a little bit of eyeliner thingies because that's just something that I've been doing lately and I just really like it. So I was actually planning on showing you guys some of my favorite products that I tried out today, but I think I loved pretty much everything. I absolutely love the Skin Realist from Nabla, but I love the concealer as well. I love the bronzer, I love the blush, highlighter, 
I really like the powder, Eva. I love the brows. I love the eyeshadow, obviously. The lips is so, so pretty. I loved everything. I don't know what to tell you guys. I really, really did. Now for the giveaway. I think that the giveaway is going to be a very quick one. So a 24 hours kind of thing. So the giveaway will go like this. I will, as soon as this video goes live, upload a Insta story on my Instagram. In the Insta story, you have to comment in one of the questions, little ask boxes. And I thought it would be cool if you, in that post, said which of these gorgeous shades in the War Paint palette you like the most. And as the Insta story is only 24 hours, at least I think, I will message you after 24 hours the one that is a winner. Go to my Insta story, I will have the uh, giveaway there. Comment which of these shades in the War Paint palette you like the most. And then I will just pick one of you guys after 24 hours. That's a really good giveaway, right? Just something fun, not something super hyped or anything like that. I just felt like it would be nice to give you guys something. If you see this when the Insta story is already gone and deleted and closed, then I'm sorry, but I will probably have more giveaways for you soon. But it's good to watch my stories quick click the bell and you guys will get notified when i upload a video and uh, maybe you guys will be the first to see that i have a giveaway so that is it i hope that we will see each other in the next video and have a great day until then bye guys that's tivo <laughs>